Today is Friday, April the 14th, two days before Easter, and I wanted to give you a little update, a little house update slash, I don't know, life update. So we are in the house today, me and the girls, and I just wanted to kind of show you the progress, where we're at. Um, I know I have I haven't uploaded for a little while, but we have been making some slow progress, but I looked back at the footage I had filmed and nothing was terribly like interesting, I don't know. So I just wound up skipping like one of my past weekly updates. So I figured I would just do a quick sort of like walk around and show you what we've got going on. So you can see the kitchen has come together a little bit, or I mean more than a little, I guess. So the biggest update maybe, um, that you guys haven't seen, I'm pretty sure I haven't shown, is that I painted the walls. So the walls are now all Sea Pearl by Benjamin Moore, and depending on how the light hits it, obviously, this room kind of looks green, but that's just because of how the light's coming in. Um, it's definitely the same color. So it's sort of just like an off-white, sort of beige color, um, which is why, I mean, I was gonna show you guys when I painted it, but it, it basically was like, hey, look, the walls went from white to off-white, and then I painted all the trim, which went from off-white to bright white, so it just wasn't terribly interesting to show, but when you're in the space, it really does feel so much cleaner and fresher, and you definitely can see a difference um, between the wall color and the bright white trim, so that is what we've done in most of the house, the living room, dining room, and kitchen. But then we hung most of the cabinet doors, you can see with the hardware, and I really like how that's looking. We're still working on the drawer hardware. You can see this one's like hanging off, it's only half on. And then what we have going on right now is a temporary countertop because we want to do the butcher block that we have talked about doing but it's still going to take some time. We actually bought it. It's here on the floor next to me. We did buy it, but it's going to take some time to cut it and stain it and sand it and seal it and seal it again and seal it 50 times so that it's waterproof. That's going to take some time. So we didn't want to wait for that to, in order to move in. So I said, let's just do a temporary countertop so that we can have a sink to use and then we can work on the, you know, the real butcher block that we're going to be using, um, you know, while we're living here. We can just, you know, when Dan gets home, it's not like he has to get to my parents, somehow eat dinner, and then go. It's just like, he'll be home, I'll be able to have made dinner, and then we can just, like, start working, you know? So, right now, we have a piece of pine board, and we just got this at um, Lowe's, and I've actually seen people use this as countertop which we debated for a hot second but it's only a 24 inch depth so it's not quite uh, long enough to be a countertop um, it's a little bit of dust yeah from dr uh, drilling the hardware so here is our sink which we just installed last night it's gorgeous it's huge it's heavy it's cast iron and we're really loving it that was one thing I really missed about our old house was our huge sink that I loved so much this is pretty much I'd say the same size around it's maybe like just slightly shallower than our old sink. Our old sink was like super deep and I loved it. This one is pretty deep though. I mean, this is pretty great alternative. And we had to do- an, really long. I know. We had to do a drop-in sink, like a top mount. We couldn't do an under mount. Well, we could have done under mount with the butcher block, but I preferred the top mount. So that's what we wound up going with from Home Depot. And then this is my gorgeous new uh, faucet that we got. I found this on Amazon from Kingston Brass. I'll put a link to it if you're interested. It was a good deal on Amazon. This is like a bridge style faucet and then the sprayer goes there. Here's the sprayer. It's super heavy. Like. This alone is like really heavy, but that'll go there. So it's a separate sprayer, um, but we love that. It's not, we started working on the faucet last night, but it's not hooked up yet. Um, we actually need to get <clears throat> a piece of the pipe. We need to change it so that we can hook up the dishwasher. So there's still some work to be done there. But that's the current state of the kitchen. We actually, Went grocery shopping today, which is exciting. So we actually have food in the fridge, which feels really good. This fridge is actually 
pretty nice. There's like all this built-in organization. There's like a soda part and all the little shelves like come out. You can like, I don't know, I just really like it. I could pop those in the dishwasher. And there's like a hanging soda organizer right there and it had this little container in here. So yeah, I'm happy about that. Um, and then this is what the dining room looks like. Lara's there eating in her high chair that I dug out. So we actually have a place for her to sit. And she made a big mess. <laughs> the living room is kind of come together since you guys have seen it last. We have furniture in here. Um, this is the box for the faucet in case anyone's interested. Yeah, Kingston Brass and it was from the Heritage Collection, but yeah, I'll put a link if you're interested. So we're still playing around with furniture placement. Let me go over here. So this piece is really too heavy for the room. I don't like it being there. So I'm thinking that that one might be going away either to my sister or just going in the basement until we maybe have a spot for it or something. But if you guys remember, if you saw on Instagram, we found like a little glass table on the side of the road, like a glass cabinet. I think I wanna put that there. But otherwise, I think I like this placement with the couch there and that console with the lamps there. And then we have this little slipper chair. Kind of, it's on like sliders, so it kind of like moves around the room. But for now, I think I like it being sort of part of this seating area. We haven't rolled the rug out yet because we're still moving around and doing a lot of dirty things. So I didn't want that to get too dirty. And then I have that slipper chair there, which I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that. It's like too far in the corner. And then the bathroom is totally done. And I do plan to share that very soon. Here is the master right now. We haven't set up our beds or anything. We're not officially living here yet. We haven't slept here yet. We need to, like this weekend is Easter, so we'll probably be with my parents. You know, we'll sleep there until we go for Easter Sunday. But then as soon as we can really get the beds put together and get the sink totally hooked up, then we can move in, I think, is the plan. So that's why I went grocery shopping so that when we do come here to move in, like we'll have some food and we can sort of survive. I still need to dig out like pots and pans and stuff like that, but it's gonna be sort of a slow transition back into the house. But I would rather be here and be able to do all those little things during the day than always have to leave the girls with my mom and she's busy so I can't always come here um, and then if I do bring the girls like I feel like I don't know there was enough here to keep them entertained but now that like we've brought a lot of things in like right now this is what the girls room looks like they have a lot of their toys here Evie's bed is here but it's not set up obviously and that's just sitting there on the floor but we have like some of her clothes are here. And then in this room, this is sort of just a mishmash of things. These are those white preschool cabinets, the two of them, which I'm not quite sure what, how I'm gonna set them up. But this room, we painted the trim. The trim was all the dark wood and we painted that, but it needs another coat. And these walls haven't been painted yet either. So there's still tons of projects that need to be done, but I can't, you know, it'll be easier for me to be here and work on them than, you know, again, like try to like come back and forth and whatever. Once we're living here and I can get the girls back onto like a routine and get them occupied with, um, you know, toys and snacks and napping and all that while we're here, I can get things done. Like I still need to finish painting all of the trim around this room, like the, in the living room. We did the walls, but we didn't, I didn't, wasn't able to get in and cut around the ceiling. So like things like that I can do while we're here. And also the hallway hasn't been painted yet. I still need to um, clean all that up and then paint the hallway. So that is kind of the current state of things and what's going on. And like, are we moved in? Are we not moved in? We're kind of in between. A lot of our things are moved in, but we have not officially moved in. We're not actually like sleeping here. There's still a few things we want to do and get done before we officially move in. And that's Evie's Paw Patrol hat. Who are you? Chase. Chase, let's turn it. Evie is so creative. She makes these things all by herself. And living with my parents, she's become obsessed with Paw Patrol, right? Yeah. <laughs> 
So as far as our back deck, I don't know if I ever shared this with you guys or showed it to you, but for my birthday, I actually got this patio set and we got it off of Craigslist. So I've been slowly um, repainting the chairs. So we have tons of seating here. We've already used this patio um, the other day when everyone helped us move in. And then on Craigslist, uh, just a couple days ago, I picked up this egg chair and it was only $10 and we're going to be hanging it. It's like a hanging chair. So we can take off this uh, screw here and we want to actually hang it from this tree, like loop it over one of those so that, you know, the girls can be hanging in this chair. And I thought that was such a great find. So our yard is totally blooming and we're so excited to see like what kind of plants come up and things like that. So it's a little after five now and um, Dan just got out of work, so he's texting me to see what we're going to do. I think we're going to wind up staying here for a little longer. I'm painting right now, so he's probably going to bring dinner or we'll go out for dinner or something. But I'm just going around and touching up um, like all of the trim, basically. And I'm just using this short little brush. This is the secret to not ever having to tape when you're cutting in because it's just so easy to get like really good you know, clean lines with these short little brushes. So I'm just using the sea pearl, the extra we have left over, and I'm going around and doing the ceiling trim, which you can't really tell. You can see it's unfinished here. Evie's just watching uh, a Thomas video while I get this done, and Lara is napping. Okay, it's just about 6.30, and all that trim is done. I edged it all in, and I even went in with some of the ceiling paint and just touched up any spots that someone had like rolled and accidentally nicked the ceiling so the kitchen was already edged so now everything is all seamless and looks really really good my next task is to Lara's sleeping so I'm gonna be quiet I need to clean all of the baseboards because they're all still pretty dusty and then um, those still need to be painted white and over here all these baseboards need to be painted white but this wall is painted with the sea pearl and that's just the old paint. So you can see it's like such a slight difference, but when you see it all together, it you know, looks fresh and clean, um, but this is just old dirty paint. So I need to clean the baseboards, paint all the trim white and paint the walls with the sea pearl. well and we are you know excited about Easter coming up. Evie is at such a great age that she's really starting to understand the story of Easter and Resurrection Day and I feel like last year she kind of got it but not really but this year she you know is just like a sponge and it's been really sweet to watch her learning and, and growing and we're excited to celebrate with family and then after <clears throat> Um, Easter's over, hopefully moving in and being able to share more, having more projects to share. And, um, and then her birthday is actually May 1st, but we are not going to do like a birthday party, you know, May 1st. It's just too soon. We have still way too many things to be done in the house. But we are making a plan to have a birthday party for her Memorial Day weekend. So at the end of May, we're setting a date so that, you know, we have a set day and that's gonna be like a goal to get a lot of projects done before her birthday because we'll have a lot of people here and it'll just be a good motivation to get a lot of these loose ends tied up. Um, but I mean, you guys know, with the house, there's always gonna be projects to do and I love doing these projects. Um, but being here will make it easier to get them done. So that's a little update. I hope you guys have a blessed weekend, a happy Resurrection Day, and we'll be talking happy to you soon. Resurrection Bye. Day. You want to say happy Resurrection Day? Hi. Happy Resurrection Day. Woohoo! Larry, you want to say hi? Can you say hi? <laughs> you need a little haircut. Can you say, Lara? Lara? Can you say hi? Lara. Lara. Yeah, you see Lara? Can you say hi? Hi. Can you blow a kiss? Can you give a kiss? Oh, sweet girl. <laughs>